small balcony and I'm gonna show you what I see from our balcony. We are in Estonia now and that view with a castle is Russia. Voila. You see that one? That's already Russia guys. That is Estonia. Ну не, дорогие спикеры, здравствуйте, всем добрый вечер всем, кто пришел. Сегодня у нас впервые. Narva is both a municipality and city in Estonia, located at the eastern extreme point of the country, at the Russian border. Several military histories have marked Narva, a fortress town which was ruled over by Russians, Swedes, Danes, Germans and Estonians. When the Russians captured Narva during the Livonian War in 1558, it became an important port and trading city for Russia as a transshipment center of goods. During Russian rule, Narva formed part of the St. Petersburg Governorate. Welcome to Narva, which is the third largest city after Tallinn and Tartu. It sits at the border of Russia and on the left, on your left, on my right, you, on this side you will see the Narva Castle, which is also a museum. And on this side, you will see the Ivangorod Castle, which belongs to Russia. Behind me is the river Narva, which comes from Lake Papus, which is the largest trans-border lake in Europe. It's amazing to see that we see both fishermen from this side, the Russian fishermen, and from this side, the Estonian fishermen. A 15th century castle dominates the city with its 51 meter tall Big Hermann Tower, the most prominent landmark in the city. Other tourist sites you could visit here include the 17th century Swedish mansions, a Baroque town hall, and Erik Dahlberg's fortifications. In Viking times, the trade route named in ancient chronicles as the way from Varangians to Greeks started in Narva. fortifications is Hermann Castle built mainly in 14th and 16th century. The town of Narva founded to the fortress was surrounded by a town wall which is not preserved at the end of the 14th century.
trucks you see on the bridge were waiting for border checks and from time to time we also saw some people with their trolley just walking on the bridge after or before the border control. For my fellow Pinoy, pwede po pala tayong maka-avail ng e-visa to go to Russia. You may check their website for more info in case balak ninyong bumisita ng Russia. It started to rain, so we decided to go inside the castle of Narva and to see its museum. After buying the ticket, uh, they asked us where we come from, and I am the first one from the Philippines. And since they don't have a database for Philippines yet, I was listed under the country of Thailand. The Narva Museum is composed of the Narva Castle, the Northern Yard, and the Art Gallery. You'll find here an exhibition of the history of the city from the 13th to the 20th century. Across the Narva River lies the Russian Ivangorod Fortress, founded by Grand Prince Ivan. Narva and Ivangorod were for a time twin cities despite belonging to different republics. Before World War II, Ivangorod was administrated as part of Narva. Northern Yard showcases artisans from the 17th century, including four historical workshops open for everyone to enjoy. I am now at the Kremhol Manufacturing Company, which was one of the largest textile companies in the world. It was completely destroyed in the Second World War, and then it was privatized by the Swedish company. Unfortunately, uh, it ceased its operations in 2010, despite many efforts to stay in business. With its 10,000 workers, Kremhol Manufacturing Company was one of the largest cotton mills in the world. If you want to visit the complex, you may check their guided group tours. The Swedes conquered the city in 1581 and it became part of Sweden. Narva's golden age was in the 17th century under the Swedish rule. During this era, 
The old town of the city was built including the great improvement of its defense structures, which eventually became one of the most powerful in northern Europe. Unfortunately, after World War II, only few parts of its former glory survived. This is the Jesus Resurrection Church. I've read that it was built for the workers of the Krem Home Company and it is one of the few churches that were not damaged during the World War II. In 1700, the Battle of Narva started the historic Great Northern War, which changed the destiny of whole Europe.